Everyone knows the names of Marco Polo and Neil Armstrong as famous travelers, driven by curiosity and determined to be the first to discover what is over the next horizon. 14 dramatic steps forward in exploration, in discovery, and in invention are meticulously chronicled in these pages. The text reveals the stories behind lesser known but no less extraordinary journeys, like Mary Kingsley's travels in Africa, or the Picard family's mission to travel to the Earth's highest and lowest point. Each illustration expands into elaborate foldouts intended to be examined and poured over again and again. I am delighted to present a 2011 Boston Globe Horn Book honor for nonfiction to Into the Unknown, How Great Explorers Found Their Way by Land, Sea, and Air, published by Candlewick, edited by Andrea Tampa, and Lucy, oh, sorry, um, illustrated by Stephen Biesti, written by Stuart Ross. Uh, Andrea Tampa will be expect accepting for Stephen Biesti, and I believe there's a video acceptance. For the author. Yes, for the author, for the author yes. Thank you. I don't know how I give the plate to a video. <laughs> Hello everyone. First and most obviously, I would like to say how thrilled I am to have been chosen as one of the authors to be honored in this year's Boston Globe Horn Book Awards. It's hard sometimes when you're working away on a piece of text to believe that anyone, anywhere, will actually bother to read it. So when they do, and they say they like it a lot, wow, <laughs> it suddenly makes everything worthwhile. So thank you very much indeed. I must also say a huge thank you to my illustrator, collaborator, Steve Biesti. Not only is he a genius with a pencil, but he's wonderful to work with. Not least because he says such kind things about my words. Thanks, Steve, and a hundred congratulations to you, too. And a gigantic thank you to the team at Walker Books, the editor, the long-suffering Lucy, Maria, her cheery assistant, and Ben, the brilliant designer. A book like Into the Unknown is nothing if not a team effort. I'm extremely proud to have been a member of such a fine squad. Finally, just a quick word about Into the Unknown itself. In a world where most information is stored and conveyed electronically, conventional non-fiction books for young people have taken a heavy hit. So is Into the Unknown a dinosaur? A final example of a dying breed? I believe not. In the years ahead, certainly fewer paper books will be produced, but those that are designed written and manufactured will be, a bit like medieval manuscripts, special creations, works of art, unique, beautiful products to be collected and cherished. Into the Unknown, therefore, is not the end of a line, but the beginning of a new, fresh, and very beautiful one. And you have so kindly recognized that fact. Thank you all very much indeed. Goodbye. These are Stephen's remarks. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am honored and delighted that the judges in this year's Boston Globe Hornbook Awards have chosen Into the Unknown for one of their most prestigious honors, and I would like to thank them most sincerely for this distinguished recognition. As you may have guessed from looking at the book, a great deal of hard work went into those many illustrations and drawings. In fact, they took about a year and a half to complete, and receiving an honor like, such as yours makes it all doubly worthwhile. Thank you. At the same time, I would like to express my warmest thanks to everyone who worked on the book with me. First of all, to Stuart Ross, my good friend and creative collaborator, who wrote the wonderful text. Then to the editorial team of the indefatigable Lucy Ingrams and Maria Tunney, and especially to the brilliant designer Ben Norland, who brought it all together in such a handsome and exciting fashion. The project was definitely one of the most rewarding artistic experiences I have had as a professional illustrator, and the best thing of all was the opportunity it gave me to research and draw things that I had never drawn before. Perhaps the most challenging task was trying to work out how to cross-section Mount Everest, 
but my favorite drawing was the amazing giant treasure ship of Admiral Zheng He's fleet of 1405. I felt this really was new content for a children's book. Of course, I would also like to thank Candlewick Press for publishing the book in the United States. Without their part in the operation, Into the Unknown would have remained very much in the unknown on this side of the Atlantic. Finally, a warm thank you to publishers and readers alike for recognizing that in this instant age, there is still a place for work that is meticulously, carefully crafted with enormous patience and skill over many years. Not quite everything is here today, gone tomorrow. At least, thanks to your honor, into the unknown will not be. Thank you.